You've completed part of your course and then you hit a brick wall. It's very common to begin these new projects and run into a few roadblocks. We get busy, we have trouble with our software or hardware. We might even begin to think that we just don't have what it takes to complete this. Here are a few productivity tools and guidelines to help you finish what you've started. I'm Chase DeMarco, and if you've been following along through this entire course, I want to welcome you to your final module. Now, it's pretty common for us when taking on a very large project or a new project in general to begin to get a bit down on ourselves. We hoped for a smooth process and might be coming across obstacles that we didn't really expect or delays that we didn't want. What this can lead to is... But there are many things that we can do to stave off imposter syndrome and get back into a productive mindset. Of course, MedEd University may also be able to offer support depending on your needs as well. The first thing is to make sure you don't get down on yourself. Worthy projects rarely come without any delays, and it'll make the whole process seem so much more worth it when you've completed this. Remember to focus on the process and not the product. Imagining the final course already created can actually hamper your motivation for what lies ahead. Visualize and try to enjoy in the process of organizing and creating content, and the rest will fall into place. Creative projects such as these can easily become overwhelming, and that's why it's important to be organized and plan out small steps. If you've ever read The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, the first two habits are to keep the end in mind and to put first things first. In online course creation, we need to know what end goals we are trying to achieve or end product that we wish to create, but we also need to put first things first. This can mean making sure we don't put the cart before the horse, so to speak. And by breaking down our courses into modules, we have started the process of focusing on one module at a time. Taking this step even further, we might separate the tasks into smaller, more manageable chunks. For example, I like to separate scripting out a few modules at a time, and then I can go and assess these scripts for timing and accuracy. And lastly, I'll sit down and record a video or two that go with each module. Now, of course, these videos are far from perfect, but it gives us something to work with. But it helps to make sure that you don't keep putting off the smaller tasks because the larger set of tasks seem to be too paralyzing to take on all at once. Don't worry about making mistakes at this point either. Consider this your MVP, as we say in business. You can use any content you create to beta test your course and return later if you wish to re-record a clip or an entire video. Now you have the basics for creating your online course. Already, you might have many ideas that can make your own material more alluring than most of the material that you ever came across as a student. And there's always room for new ideas and improvement. Don't forget to join the Academy community to discuss topics of course creation or medical and scientific literature. And also, if you have feedback about MEU, feel free to share it with us. For those in clinical education, consider using the resources at our sister organization, Find a Rotation, and see the supplemental resources in this module. Stay tuned for our future advanced course creation section with more tips and tools. Join us today and get your content ideas out there.